Oh, hey guys, today we're going to do a quick uh, fix on a, on a system that was uh, was a brand new built system. Actually, I had a customer that actually had an Asus ROG Strict. The model here, just follow my cursor. The model here is the B650-A gaming Wi-Fi motherboard from Asus. Um, when she was doing her brand new Windows 11 installation, she had told me that she tried installing Windows 11 and also the Windows 10, but she wasn't able to, to get past through the whole you know, new installation because she was getting errors and stuff like that, pre post, uh, you know, boot errors. Um, the other symptoms that what it would do is it would actually go into the bias where it would show the hard drive as being one of the detective hard drive device, but, but under the boot device on the right side of her ROG Strix bias menu, it wasn't showing it as one of the bootable options as, as a boot drive. And it, it needs to show there on the right side as opposed to just the left because it needs to show both on the left and the right for it to be. A, a functioning drive so that was one of the problems that was having you know so what i did in this situation here to fix the issue was that if you look at this picture here this is what her motherboard looks like because this is exactly the model she had so she actually had her m.2 she had a samsung uh, a 970 series i think it was a samsung evo 970 series uh you know m.2 she had it placed in this you know on this brand new motherboard that she bought literally like a couple days ago and her bill was just done yesterday and where she had it installed in this first M.2 bay here. And that was the defective, uh, you know, bay. Because if, if, if uh, as long as she left it in that bay, she would kept getting different errors. And then some of the other symptoms that she was getting also, which I had noticed myself, was that the initial post screen, it would take forever. Sometimes it would take almost like about 30 to 60 seconds. And sometimes even longer where it would post through the the asus rog strict splash screen at the beginning but it would just go nowhere it would just hang and then the only way to 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 restart the whole process it was to do a force shutdown by holding the power button for like five or six seconds and sometimes if it didn't hang it would still take more than a minute for it to go back into the windows install screen so let's say if you're at finishing partitioning the the hard drive and and you're for you're, you're prompted to restart after the first phase of the windows 10 install or windows 11 install it reboots but it doesn't go anywhere sometimes it'll actually boot back into the bias or boot into after the rog strict screen and just go nowhere so we knew that there was something wrong you know um and sometimes i noticed by me doing a force shutdown it would actually continue on with the windows installation get through the second phase but it would cycle through the same bs and the same problems it would run into where it would either you know boot into the uh, the bias you know showing Sometimes actually the, the the two terabyte hard drive she had on the right side as a bootable device, and also my uh, my flash drive that I actually had as a bootable device, but it would never complete the install in in a in a you know you know in in a synchronized order where you know you reboot two or three times the Windows install and and there was no delays of anything, you know. So one of these are the symptoms that you probably run into, you know, and and. And I knew that the hard drive, like I said, I knew that hard drive wasn't bad because I also put in my hard drive in in her, the first bay of the M.2 bay, and it did exactly the same thing. So what I did next was that I ended up pulling, you know, uh, I, I left it in there for a quick second. I left her two terabyte there. I put my M.2 in this secondary bay here, right below the, uh, the PCIe, you know, uh, you know, video card slot. I put it in the second bay here. No, sorry, not second bay here. At the third bay here, I put in the third bay here. And when I did the Windows install, it installed perfectly fine from beginning till end, where it was literally done like in, I don't even think it was even 10 minutes. Her system was so fast. I think it was like about five or six minutes it was done at the install from the beginning of the Windows install to the end. You know, um, you know, so so we know that that was, you know, that had fixed the issue. So, you know, um, so in this situation here, the problem was with her brand new board was the M.2 bay here. You know, so, I mean, you guys can easily, you know, take your M.2 and, and put it into this secondary bay or the third bay. I kind of just left it in there because it was already in there and, and the client didn't care, you know. So, um, and, and you know, hope that this will help you guys out because it was just a simple swap. You know, I mean, and it's pretty sad to see that she she didn't want to take the whole system out because a part of my fee to her wasn't for me to disassemble the system which is to figure out what was going on and she she had bought it from new egg you know so so she goes you know what she'll just deal with the one defective m.2 bay which was this one here and then she just told me to keep it in this one here you know but you still have another bay for a secondary m.2 anyway so if, if you guys are in the same situation 
and you guys had previously had a perfectly running Windows, but you're running through these same symptoms where it was booting into the BIOS or not booting completely straight into Windows, or there's a major, major delay of it booting from the Asus ROG Strix splash screen at the new power-up onto your Windows desktop. If it's taken you more than like 10, 15 seconds, it shouldn't, because with these systems here, when you have, you know, like 16 to 32 gigs of RAM and you know, uh, an AMD, you know, a Ryzen 7 system or a Ryzen 5 system or an Intel i7, i9 CPU, your system shouldn't take it more than 10 to 15, 20 seconds to boot into the desktop. Because hers, since it was a brand new Windows install that I did, it was literally up there within seconds, like probably less than 10 seconds. It was that quick, you know. So, um, you know, like I said, you know what, just, just swap out your M.2 and bring it to another bay. And then if it boots perfectly fine where it's quick as it used to be before, and you're not getting any weird pre post screen errors or Windows booting the safe mode errors or other errors and stuff like that, that should fix your problem. You know, I hope that this helps you guys out. But if you guys have any questions anyways, just put them in the comments, you know, like the video and please subscribe. And, you know, uh, you know, it, it's, it's good to see you guys again. Thanks. Take care.